Okay, hello and welcome to the installation video where I'll be installing the SSD in my MacBook Pro. There will be a couple stages to this video. The first stage will be doing speed tests on the internal hard drive. The second stage will be installing the hard drive and the third stage will be doing speed tests on the SSD once I've installed it. So let's get straight into it with the uh, Macintosh HD speed testing. This is the default hard drive that came in the Macintosh. It is a Hitachi 5400 rev per minute one. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we are uh, on the computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first test. And the first test is to uh, open iTunes. So if we head down to the applications menu, select iTunes, we're going to see how long it takes to open iTunes. Ouch. That was a very, 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 very long time to open. Um, so we will head straight on to the next test, which is the, if I believe, the uh, file copy. So what we'll be doing here is we'll be copying, if I can find it, there is a, a video from April 2015, the Clima Mac 3 review, we'll be copying that to the desktop. Now because of external hard drive limitations and USB 3 limitations, there won't be much of a time difference here, but there should still be a time difference, uh, and it'll probably be slightly noticeable. And that's done. Uh, now what we'll do is the third test, which will be moving it to trash and emptying the trash. Now this test is usually pretty hard to tell, but if we empty the trash, it was uh, pretty much instantaneous, so I won't bother putting a timer on that, but it is um yeah, it's just a nice little thing. And then the next is the what really matters, which is the black magic speed test. This is uh what really matters when it comes to uh, the drive speed because it's gonna tell us exact values. So once it's open, okay I'll just drag it up a bit because it's a bit too big for the screen, sadly. Okay, let's start the test. And as you can see they're just standard speeds you'd expect from a five thousand four hundred RPM hard drive. Write averaging about 74.3 megabytes a second. Read averaging about 72.8. Um, which is weird, that should be a lot higher, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, these are fairly mediocre speeds. That they're, just, they're not the best, and it's kind of it's kind of what's bringing me down, and it's kind of why I've wanted to do this upgrade in the first place. So, uh, that's it for the Macintosh HD tests, uh, and now we'll move on to the installation. Okay, now we're moving on to the installation. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking off the screws on the back of the computer, uh, which I'll start doing now. I'll uh, have me unscrewing one and then I'll just speed up the rest because it'll take a very long time. Okay, now we're going to speed it up. Just a thing to note, the screws on the bottom left hand corner are longer than all the other ones, so if you're doing this yourself, make sure to keep them separate.
Okay, now that we've got the back off, we can get into the actual installation of the SSD. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to remove the black bracket that is on top of the uh, removal side of the uh, hard drive at the moment. So we'll do that quickly. Okay, so now that we have removed the blank bracket, we can go on to actually taking out the hard drive with the little tab. So just pull that up. And you won't be able to see it, but there is a ribbon cable on the other side that we have to gently unplug. There we go. And now the hard drive is free, but you have to remove the torque screws on the side that hold the hard drive in place and put them on the SSD. Uh, this part you may have limited visibility, so I'm sorry for that, but we'll... Uh, just speed through that now. Okay, now that we've done uh, unscrewing and screwing in those uh, support cables, we can put this back in. So I'll plug this back into the ribbon cable quickly. And that should just fit in like that. Now we have to slide it into the supporting screws. And voila, now all we have to do is reapply the black bracket which I've got in my hands now, and I'll speed through that and I'll see you again on the other end. Okay, now that that's done, all that's left to do is to uh, reapply the black back plate, which we uh, can put on, and then we will be done with the installation. It wasn't a very tricky installation, it was never going to be. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get started with that, and I'll see you once we have the back plate on. Okay, now that the cover's back on, it is the moment of truth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around, and I'm going to turn it so we can see what is going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the lid. Oops, means we're out of view, sorry about that. We'll turn on the button, we'll press the power button. And now, if when I decide to put this in the view, uh, the first boot will always be a bit longer because it's going to have drive naming issues. It's trying to find the drive named Macintosh HD and it's not finding it. So it eventually just searches for all drives and then finds Macintosh SSD and then it boots to it. So you will see a white screen for a very long period of time when you boot it for the first time. This is just something to know. 
it's not broken or anything. You'll just see, and then as soon as you get the Apple logo, you know what's booting off the SSD. And um, of course, you'll get the. Uh, it'll still be a bit slower. It still won't be a hundred percent as fast as it would be normally. Um, even once the Apple logo is there, but once the Apple logo is there, you know it's booting off your SSD. And here we are on the logon screen. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is log on. Type in uh, username and password. And first boot time taking a bit of a while. We are on. Uh, that's about it. Uh, so yeah, that's fully upgraded. As you can see, it's even opening everything I had open previously. It's uh, fully upgraded everything to the SSD. So it is, um, yeah, it's all nice and done fast. Now for the SSD speed test. Okay, now we're moving straight on to the SSD test. Uh, so as you can see, there was a significant difference in the boot times for both. So now we're going to start, or at least attempt to start, the um, file copy test. So let me just find the video here. There we are. And here we go. Let's just copy it over. And time on now. Two second difference, as I as I uh, said before, you weren't going to see much of a difference with the uh, SSD because of you know USB and uh, hard external hard drive limitations. That was the uh, if you missed it, that was the going to trash and emptying trash test. And now we're moving on to the opening iTunes test. So here we go, and the iTunes, and there we go. That's a significant difference. That's at least six seconds faster. So yeah, that was quite a speed difference. Now for the tests that matter, the Black Magic speed test. If I will open it up, here we are. Now we just have to start. Okay, let's just get this aligned. Okay, here we go. Start. Okay, so here we go. We've got some really, really, really significant significancies in changes, that's not a word, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, we got like, uh, heaps better. Heaps, 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 heaps better. So yeah, as you can see, this has uh, rapidly uh, boosted the computer's productivity and has really helped a lot. So uh, yeah, that was a successful installation. I thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.